I'm here alongside cornerback Diamador Lenore, who has just signed a five-year contract extension that will keep him in the Bay through the 2029 season. Demo, thank you for spending some time with us. Thank you. Appreciate you. Demo, we recently had a conversation about how you join a veteran star-studded roster in the 49ers when you get drafted here, but it's tough to make a name for yourself on this roster. What does this five-year extension say about how the 49ers view you? It really showed me uh, how much they value me as a player, as a person. It was a blessing for me. It was a blessing for my family. Man, just seeing that a kid come from L.A. where the odds is not high and just being able to beat the odds, you know, it's, it's just nothing but God. You talk a lot about your family. Have they been the biggest source of inspiration for you? Oh, yeah, for sure. Growing up with a lot of brothers and sisters, not a lot of people play football or, you know, able to even pursue their career at the level I'm at. Out of 21, being that one to, to really, you know, take it this far, you know, that's a lot of odds against you. You were a day three pick of the draft, fifth round, 172 overall. You've said you lost a little hope until you got that call from general manager, Yo. John Lynch. What were the emotions of that day and how did it affect the way you have attacked the last three and a half seasons? Just hearing his voice on the phone um, the day of the draft, I mean, I was, I was, it was like a relief. Where I thought I was gonna go, I didn't end up going. So it like kind of made, like, it was kind of like, am I really get, am I gonna get drafted? Just him making that call and me answering the phone and being able to just, be a Niner, you know, it meant everything to me. This five-year contract comes in the middle of the season, long before free agency starts. Why were you so committed to being a Niner for the long haul? Uh, just all these great players and, you know, the coaches, being able to come into work happy every day, I felt like that meant more than just trying to be the highest paid person or, you know, trying to reset the DB market or anything like that. I felt like the mental meant, meant the most out of all of that. You've always been confident in your physical abilities, but you have told me you've credited the big step up in your game to that game film study. Yeah. So how has that helped you blossom from fifth round pick to lockdown corner in the NFL? It showed me like the dedication. You watch a film to make a play is like the most dedication it could possibly get because like you actually putting yourself in that situation every time down in and down out like all right, if this happened, then I have to do this, this, this. My help is here. It really takes a lot of dedication to actually get out there and make plays. A couple people that have been with you since day one, general manager John Lynch, head coach Kyle Shanahan, how have they both shaped your career here in San Francisco? That first year, you know, with them, with me uh, getting benched, I felt like that helped my career for in the long run, just because it gave me time to grow, get my confidence up, and actually learn the game of football. After that, that, that humble experience, you know, that shaped me into that person and I was able to take off the next year. You talk about the bumps in the road. You have had three straight trips to the NFC Championship with this team on top of a Super Bowl appearance. It's a lot of highs, a lot of lows. What have you appreciated most about the journey? Being able to spend that time with the players and the coaches. It's a lot of time invested that you can never get back. So, so being able to just be in that, that meeting room you know, for countless hours and, you know, building that relationship with, with, with my brothers, uh, it meant the world. Off the field over these last three and a half seasons, you've become a father. You talk so deeply about how much you care about your family. How does this contract allow you to play freer, knowing that you've got the security? I'm here for the next five seasons. I really took this year, like, I didn't, I didn't really even think about it. You know, I'm just like, I, I came in with nothing. And I'm really, I'm about to take this risk, you know, to, uh, to show them that I'm a top player in this league. What's next for Diamador Lenore? Hopefully a Super Bowl and all pro and pro bowl. We're going to be happy to see it all. Thank, Thank you, you so much.